Well, of course, what happened is that the uh, shutdown made people stay home. And when they stayed home, they weren't uh, going to get their children vaccinated. Also, a lot of vaccinations take place in schools, mm. and many schools were shut down. So those are the uh, two primary reasons. But there's another reason, which is perhaps more disturbing. And that is many parts of the world that developed a very strong anti-vax movement. Uh, there had been some anti-vax movements before that. But uh, with the COVID pandemic, they became much stronger. And unfortunately, that uh, tendency has continued. So some people who've been willing to have their children vaccinated are no longer willing to do so. Let's talk Go about ahead, what some yeah. of the organizations uh, fighting this battle are saying. The WHO describing it as the largest sustained decline in childhood vaccinations in 30 years. That's very significant. And we're talking about immunization against diseases such as measles, polio, diphtheria, the thing we did have the upper hand on. What is the concern moving forward as you see it? Well, it's a very serious concern because the health of our children is, of course, the health of a nation. And if you don't have a fair portion, almost all the people vaccinated for these childhood diseases and the diseases of adult like temp, uh, tetanus, uh, diphtheria, typhus, uh, you'll have these diseases come back. The diseases aren't gone. Uh, they'll come back and they do come back. And uh, we've seen in a number of places uh, in the U.S., for example, where there's resistance to vaccines that measles will become spread in those communities and then spread to other communities as well. So it's, it's a serious problem.